On this episode of You Can't Eat the Grass, we need to change our priorities. We've been focused on selling all this summer season, but our $10,000 peony purchase is showing up soon, and there is a ton of work to get the farm ready to plant. Can we get it all done? Stay tuned to find out. market is open. I'm excited to sell all these flowers. They look really good. But this week, the focus isn't on selling. The focus is on getting the farm in shape for next year. We've got a ton of perennials coming in that we have to find a place for. I was supposed to have all of the farm prepped, but you know, we were so busy that I didn't have time to do that. After I get all these flowers, you know, sold, hopefully, I have to get back to that farm and start making some progress. market is done. We did really well today. We sold almost $1,300 and a ton of that was like in the last hour. The last hour was insane. We got like multiple like super busy rushes. It was great. But this week isn't about sales. It's about getting ready for next year. So I got to get home to that farm and get started on some of the work that I got to do. It's time to get to work. And the first thing on the list is those trees back there. They are an invasive species to our local area. They're overhanging where we want to plant all of our peonies. That whole area is going to get developed sometime soon. So um, they're going to get taken out. The fence is actually set back on our side of the property, so they're kind of our responsibility. But, um, you know, they're going to come down one day and I don't want them to fall on, you know, this landscape fabric, peony planting with like irrigation all set up, you know, just smash all that stuff to bits. So they should go before we put any work into actually planting out the peonies. Might as well start there. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's get those trees on the ground. I've been going at this for a while and uh, and I still have only dropped one tree, but you know, I've been doing the hard work. I, I'm not sure if you can tell how much uh, more open it is back there. There's actually two fences that these trees grow into, which is why they still exist because there's a barbed wire fence that they're all grown into. And then there's another mesh fence that they're all grown into. Before I do anything, I need to sharpen my saw. But I did a bunch of the hard work. That's the work I don't like. Falling the trees, that's the easy stuff. That's just making some cuts and over it goes. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done tonight, but I'm still gonna come back and I'm gonna do some more work. Back in the day when I used to run saw, I used to work so hard. You know, probably my, my superpower, if I had to pick a superpower back then, it was the fact that you could drop me off in a helicopter in the mountains with a couple other guys that could be like not wanting to work very hard and I would drive them all day. I'd be like, nope, <laughs> you guys aren't slowing me down. I don't care if you guys do anything, but you gotta watch me work. And hopefully that uh, makes you feel guilty enough to work a little harder. So I'd always kind of pull everyone along with, uh, with my work ethics. As the years pass, my body just isn't able to, to drive that pace anymore, but it doesn't mean that the mind doesn't feel strong still. <sighs> I'm gonna stop talking to this camera. I'm gonna go get filed up and then I'll come back here and I'll get a few more of these trees on the ground. still one lone tree hanging out there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that one. That one kind of wants to fall at my neighbor's uh, corner of his fence. So uh, I might need to get some straps on that one. Didn't get quite as much done as I wanted to today because I wanted to get it all bucked up too, but uh, all the dangerous stuff is done. So 
you know, I'm gonna just do a little bit more cleanup and then I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, I'm pretty tired. I'm sure we'll be back at it tomorrow because there's lots to do to get this whole big field ready for peony plantings. some bouquet stuff, getting some stuff for the stand. Long day for you though, huh? Yeah, <laughs> long day. You know, the goal with the farm was always to try to get the infrastructure work done in the first five years, get all the, the hardest, most physical work out of the way when we're as young as we're ever going to be. Um, and you know, this this peony job, this is, this is probably gonna be one of the ones that's gonna be hitting at the top of the list for most physical jobs done on the farm since the beginning. The farm is dependent on our physical bodies and if we don't use it, we, we definitely lose it. And we can't do all the things we could do when we were younger. Ian hurt his shoulder a few years ago and it's changed what he can do with his body, which has also changed, you know, what he can do on the farm. You know, he just can't get quite as much done in a day when it's these really hard physical jobs like this falling work. One of the things Ian has been doing this year to physically keep up with farm is using Copilot. Copilot is an affordable fitness coach app that provides personalized workouts tailored to your goals and available equipment. You get accountability and support from a real person with the flexibility to work out on your own schedule. Honestly, I'm so busy, I just don't have the time to take on the mental load of another task, like exercising. But that's why I like Copilot. It's fitness made easy, and it's actually fun for me as well. My trainer, Justin, designed workouts for me around my shoulder injury. Building durability and injury resistance and some flexibility because those are the things that really limit how much work I'm able to get done on the farm. And after each workout, I talk to him about what worked and what didn't work, and then he can make adjustments. I really like Justin. He's helped me get back into an exercise routine, but with Copilot, anyone can switch coaches at any time. With Copilot, I like doing the exercises. I can just follow the instructions and it results in me working up a good sweat and feeling good. I also don't have any home gym equipment, so I like that with Copilot, they offer me a wide variety of exercises that don't require any stuff like that. Over the winter, I always get out of shape and it makes the spring even harder for me. I've been watching Ian use the app and now I, I want it too. If you're thinking of trying it like me, click my co-pilot link or use the QR code on screen to get 14 days free with your own personal trainer. What about you, Bo? Should we get you some little workout shorts? Views looking quite different down here yeah, lately. It looks, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Except for that, that one last tree. Still got a little bit of work to do. It gets to live until I have a little bit more room to work around it and figure something out. It's been a while since you've done any falling. How are you feeling? I've done it enough that it's, you know, doesn't take long to get back into it. Cause you're always thinking when you're dropping trees. So same, same thoughts go through your head but uh, slower because I'm older. I used to burn on a busy day, 12, 13 tanks of fuel through a chainsaw. Sometimes I'd burn like 15 tanks of fuel through a chainsaw. And, and you know, you'd be like, ugh. You couldn't wait to get home and go to sleep. Yesterday I burnt uh, like one and a half tanks. <laughs> so, you know, like a lot less work. But it was a pain in the butt work. Just a, it's more tedious. Well, I'm seeing a lot of work because there's a big mess right here and pretty quickly what this needs to be is a field of peonies. I will say though, coming down here, it's totally changed how big this part of the farm is visually to me. For where our peonies end, it's another 35 feet until the fence. And it always felt close to the fence, close to these trees. And with the trees out of here, it's like, oh wow, that's a lot of space. Well, tomorrow we're bringing in help to help get this cleaned up. Yep. It's the start of another day and we got 
a skid steer now to help us out. So uh, the plan today is to move a bunch of that wood that I bucked up. All that wood isn't gonna be wood that we burn inside of our house, but instead it's gonna be wood for our fire pit that'll last us years and years. a lot cleaner than I thought they would in only two hours. Yeah, they do. I'm excited. I think I. Did we destroy your little forest? We got rid of all of your logs and stuff. What do you think? He doesn't know what to think. He's just a dum-dum. Is that true, Kaya? The machine makes short work of, of lots of the, the physical stuff. But yeah, it, it's cleaning up here pretty quick and I'm really excited. It's, it's gonna look so good when it's done. I'm, I, I can start to see the vision and uh, I can't wait. I'm also motivated by, you know, just having fun. I, I like running saw and I like doing all this, playing around in the bobcat, so. You know, easier to do when you're 40 than 10 years from now when you're 50, right? Yeah, it had just to happen keep telling sometime. Yourself. Yeah, so it had to happen. And, and so I'm glad that I'm doing it now. It's year five this year, you know, and, and we had really big goals for where we wanted to be by year five. You know, and there was there was a lot of kind of feelings wrapped up in that, in that, you know, year five was gonna be the beginning of our establishment, you know, as a long-term farm. And, you know, we, we still haven't quite hit our financial goals, but we're on track. We've kind of reinvented what the farm is, you know, multiple times, so, I don't feel bad about being a little bit delayed on it. It feels, it feels pretty incredible to be standing here and really visualizing that the farm is going to be very, very close to completion. This has been taking all of our energy, all of our time, dreaming about it at night, uh, dreaming about it at the day, right? And then to be standing here and being so close to having the entire property put into production. I'm feeling a lot of pride, right? Like I, when we planted these peonies last year, it felt, it felt like a big job. It felt like a big accomplishment. And now to stand here and have this so open and to think that a month from now, all of this is gonna be peonies. It's gonna just dwarf what we've already done. It's its a pretty incredible feeling. But it's not gonna get done unless you get back to work. So I'm gonna get out of here and let you get back to it, Ian. Are we not paying attention to you? It's all done now and I'm really excited. I think it looks really good. <laughs> it looks so much more open there. It's, it's just really mind boggling how much space opens up. But you know, it had to happen and it was one of those tasks where I was worried that we were just gonna kind of like keep procrastinating on it because we have so many other things that we could do. And then all of a sudden, you know, it frosts or it snows and we haven't got the peonies in the ground yet and I still have to follow the trees and it's just like too much work to actually get it done in time. So. Having this done, you know, I feel like now we're ready to tackle the peonies. As a reward for all the work, we have this big pile of wood now for campfires. But we were out of campfire wood. There was a pile that came with the place. It took us five years to burn through it. Now it's gone, and so now we have, you know, an infinite supply 
This will this will take a while. There's like some big Yule logs in here. Yeah. Now all we need to do is have a party to celebrate. Yeah. How's it going? Pretty good. It's time to harvest. Gotta get lots. Gotta get ready for the market. Oh, that for a bouquet. Yes, please. Hello. There. Stan. It's been selling really well. <laughs> it's Friday. I need to make make some bouquets to stock it back up so that I can start getting to bouquet making time for the market. The best seller at the stand this time of year has been this pink bouquet. Make three more of that since it, it's always the first one to sell anyways. <laughs> I got a lot of flowers. <laughs> things are things are looking good. I, I don't know how busy it's going to be at the market, so I don't have a goal yet. We have been selling decently at the market. Yeah. Last market was $12.90, right? You know, I was like, oh, 60 but I guess we need more. <laughs> More than 60 if we're gonna sell that much at the market. But I need stuff for the stand too. So, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how, I, how many I can make. Everyone's favorite, it's purple. Double clicks. They look so good with orange. We hit on inspiration when, when we found this combo. It was magic. <laughs> Are you embarrassed now? What do you think? If I put this darker one, is that still good? Nope. No? It's not as good. Really? Yeah, it's good, but I like I like this one better. Uh, sorry, not sorry. Well, it's not actually your opinion that matters. The customer is always right. Right? You can't all have the same bouquet. <laughs> different shirts for different folks. Yeah. You like white bouquets. Nobody likes those. It smells good. Which 
looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. Let's put them in the stands. The white bouquet. No one ever wants the white bouquet. But it makes everything else look so much better. <laughs> well, I had big plans this week to get lots of stuff done. Well, Ian had been transforming the farm, but I didn't get very much done because this stand has been selling really well. It's been keeping me pretty busy keeping things stocked in here. It's exciting when you're trying to get other work done, but instead you just need to focus on making money. <laughs> The bouquets look gorgeous right now, so it's, it's no surprise that they're selling well. But I also like making money at the market, so I gotta get to this bouquet making. I'm currently at zero, so I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm here. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. I have eight buckets done. And how many are you going for? And the rack. Oh, I, I like the grass. Yeah. This bouquet sold well last week, so mm -hmm. I made a bunch of it. Yeah, these will sell for sure. Yeah. They look really nice. So that's two fifths done. This is something? Yeah, this one, it, you know, it's not too bad. And when I say I'm two fifths done, that's doing 80 bouquets. That's like, you know, fill up the stand and still have. Mm -hmm. Lots to take. I've done the math. Did the math quickly today. Yep. I think we're averaging like $165 a day at the stand. That's pretty good. That's like, if it was shut down because we were evacuated, it still counts. Oh, for the entire year? Yeah. Oh, I thought that's like for right now where we're doing good. 165 So what's that a week? My brain isn't working. Six right times there. seven. Yeah, so that's 1155 which is pretty good. We just need to increase it two and a half times. Yeah. And then we can make $100,000 a year with only the stand, right? <laughs> Easy. Easy. Yeah. No, this. but that's, that's good money. Oh, you know what that is? It's bedtime. Not for you. <laughs> no, not for me. got all the flowers done. It's two o'clock and I got 90 bouquets. They were look really good. And you know, the market's been doing well. So, you know, this would be an amazing end to the week if we could sell a lot of these flowers. If we could have so much physical work be done on the farm and still have a great market. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna go for Ian tomorrow. It's a market morning and I feel great, except that it's raining out. Not very hard, but hopefully it doesn't get worse. Hopefully it dries out because we don't want to scare all the customers away today. Roadside stand is all full now and it looks great. Hopefully it sells lots today, but I gotta get down to that market. Okay, I'm 
them all set up. It looks great. You know, it still looks like a full-on summer display even though, you know, the nights are starting to get pretty cold. I'm just really excited about today. You know, there's not a ton of markets left in the season, so you kind of got to just enjoy it while it's here. And lately our sales have been really good at the market, so hopefully that trend continues and we can finish the season strong. It's nine o'clock and you know, all the markets lately have been really slow at the start. This one's no different. We only sold four bouquets, but that's better than nothing. And uh, you know, like last week was basically the same and we almost sold $1,300 and we hardly sold anything before 10 a.m. I imagine it'll still be slow, but the sun's out now, it's starting to warm up. So people uh, are still gonna show up to the market. They just don't come first thing in the morning. It's 11 now and things really haven't picked up for us too much. We're only at 300. Uh, to give you an idea of where we were last week at this time, we were at 580, so that's a pretty significant difference. You can still sell a bunch if it's like last week and it gets really busy. We can still salvage a pretty good day out of it. Now it's noon, another hour has gone by, and sales were pretty good the last hour. We sold 13 bouquets, which brings us up to 560. Hopefully this last hour is busy and we can at least get up into that like 750, 800 range. Well, that's it for today. We didn't get a $450 rush in the last hour like we did uh, last week. We sold some bouquets. We ended up at 760, so that's kind of in the range of what we were doing earlier in the year, which isn't too bad for, you know, it's not it's not a summer market anymore. It feels pretty good getting all that work we got done, uh, getting ready for the peonies, because those are coming soon. So now we just gotta finish the season of selling. You know, there's just a handful of weeks left. Don't exactly know when everything will end. It's more weather dependent than anything pretty stoked that this week we got all that area cleared for those peonies and uh, I think that that's going to make a real big difference to our farm. Thanks again to our sponsor Copilot. Click my Copilot link or use the QR code on screen to get 14 days free with your own personal trainer.